Alright, welcome back. Let's do our second explore. Yeah, not getting as lucky this time with the mixed herb seeds, but that's okay. Don't really need uh, strength on the blue lions, okay. as it turns out. Hey there. That doesn't really help me too much. Um, I'll do Dudu and Sylvain since they're both at half already. That'll bump them up. Let us eat. I realized it after. Very good. And I'll try to find Dimitri and Felix. I know there's something they like to eat together, damn it. There it is. Much more. Oh, okay, we're good then. Is something wrong? You're eating like you hate the food. Oh? Okay. Getting pretty close to, uh... Professor Level C. That's the word. Okay, good. Who do I have a support with? Mercedes? Okay. So that training stuff I have written down is definitely old. Let me look. do it like that, so I'm going to do a training in lances and a training in flying. So that makes a lot more sense. What's the map? Even the guy, they not Practice. Nice. Where's Manuela's bitch ass at? Is she here? Yeah. Hey. Perfect as I blame. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Now you can get to the auxiliary battle. And we'll call it. <laughs> oh. Hey, as for me, I blame all. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, I should be fine. Manual. Oh, thank 
Ugh. That's a barf, dude. Oh well. He'll get his axes where I need it. He has plenty of time. He has until like level 20 to get there, so. <laughs> he, uh, he always makes it. Yikes, dude. Who needs it next? Um, Ash is doing fine. Sylvain, I definitely gotta help him out. He's got his axes to C, so he needs it in B. Need to increase his heavy armor, too. But axes are slightly more important. Alright. I thought... Hey. So his axes will be very close to C+. Ingrid will be alright for one round. Um, who else could use some help? Ash, I suppose. This will... Oh, that's right. Yeah, she wants to talk, doesn't she? Um, nah, for Mercedes, honestly, it doesn't matter. She's a healer. She'll get her faith up fast enough job, regardless. So myself. It's not uh, critical that I optimize Mercedes' skill growth, so... It all makes sense now. I get it! Okay, Dimitri is almost at D plus axis, so it's about a little under halfway there, but he's getting there. Yeah, everybody's on track. Not that I expect any different, of course. Okay. Ah, drat. This might be a little too tough, we'll see. Might be a little too tough. Uh, the lions are not the deer, that is for sure. The lions actually have to mostly be strong enough to take a hit, which they are most definitely not right now. Pass, 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 pass. Yes, of course, I got like a sword round where everybody has fucking pass. Alright. Let me see if I can find a good gambit here. Not available yet. to a net and I'll give Mercedes the uh, stride gambit. Stride battalion, stride gambit, whatever. Um, alright, let me see. 14, 12, 12, 14, ouch. 8. So Dimitri should have 9 with the sword, which is good. But everybody else is pretty much going to get doubled. Except for Felix, actually. Felix can almost stand up to the sword guys. Nice. Ok, 
Okay, let's try it like this. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Okay. I'd have preferred the forest, if I'm being honest. Still hit 19. The dude what literally do? does not care about that, thankfully. I'll do that. I'm on it. Stay focused. You leave it to me. I'll give it my all. Here goes. Ready. Here we go. This should be a hell of a fight, boys. Okay, good. Those boys didn't aggro me yet. Very good, actually. Ideally, I would like to get everyone to five here. Um, so let's do a wind. Let's do My best. Hmm. That one is expected. Yes, that's just how much better his axes are. That level two to Prowess, weapon prowess is uh, no joke. Uh, I'd like to get Violet some XP here. It looks like it might be a little awkward to do so. Um, Yeah, that's 
sucks. Okay, so he'll do 10. No, that's not that bad. Yeah, no, that's nothing. Okay, we're good then. Piss on it. Should I have held back? I've mostly got Dimitri back here just in case, you know, they push forward and then he can just slow them down. But it looks like that's not happening. Thank you. So that's nice. Trust me, I really need that. Um... Ready. I wasn't particularly worried, but it's nice that it worked out. Just give up. Guess I've gotten better. south to help Dimitri deal with all that crap. Ooh, that frame rate lag though. God damn dude, can you just like fucking hit something for once in your fucking life? The man just constantly misses, it's incredible. Use caution. That actually kind of hosed me a little bit. I don't think there's a way for me to get him out of this. 
I'm pretty sure he just dies, so yeah. Alright, I guess it was a little too greedy to put Dimitri down there by himself. What should I do? Alright, whatever. Let's just deal with this guy for now. Stay focused. Here goes. Now. I'm on it. That one is expected. I like how this feels. Ready. I'll go. I'll give it my all. I did what I had to. Here we go. Thanks. I'll cut through. How hard did these boys hit? Oh, he can't even get over there. Yeah, so like the dude can just literally sit right here and just kill this guy. Very nice. Still counts towards class mastery. I'll take it. your magic leveling up, you weirdo. Sithy so can't get XP, so letting her get anything here is not best. So that's unideal. So 21. Ouch. Yeah, just enough to kill him, huh? So either have to kill this guy this turn, or let him get Ash. Well, here, let me see. Yeah, this should work. Go ahead and poke him down with Ingrid and Sylvain. I aim for greatness. Barf, dude. 
Yikes. <laughs> nice, just casual 40 damage. Very funny crest you got there, Dimitri. Thank you. So Mercedes definitely probably isn't hitting 5, but Annette might, so that's something. That is that. Oh boy, that's going to be fun to deal with. Okay, so Dimitri will take care of those two. Dudu will get annihilated by that swordman. I think Ash survives it though. He does. I'll let Ash bait it in. As for this Yahoo. Oh, did I take her vulnerary off of her? Careful, That's annoying. Please. That's mildly inconvenient, but not the end of the world. Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Oh, okay, you're just gonna heal each other. That's cute. That's just awkward. You never had a chance. Get the good level up, I know you can get. You didn't get it. You suck. Ah, Dimitri's rough early. Woo! Alright. Let's get him. This poor guy. Is that all? It would have been funnier if the crest proc. Oh well. Fine, shut up. Another win.
Should I have held back? We must all do our part. And Violet is significantly stronger than Dimitri right now. Feels weird, man. But I've had some bad luck with him so far, so... Them's the brakes. Let's do this. Let me try to get Mercedes to five. Oh, I won. You did, you won. Someone's getting clobbered, that's for sure. Okay. Should honestly probably be Byleth. Her damn protection's a size to do. Decided to go after Sylvain, huh? Seems like not the play. Got too cocky. It's fine. We're at the end Be of the gone. level. It's fine. It's kind of hard Proceed to get caution. them at XP. Yeah. 
Who's next? I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. He's getting very non-ideal level ups, but damn, if he's not getting tanky, I'll give him that. Not ideal, not ideal. But not the end of the world. This level ups will start evening evening out soon enough. I'm just tired of people with the sixty growth and something not getting it. That happened to me so much with Claude and the deer. That dude didn't get speed for like his first ten level ups. Oh well. It's his birthday. Speak of the devil. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Thanks. Tastes great. Right. <laughs> it's so relaxing. You're such a mystery. some supports. Let's do some supports because we got so many of them to do. Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it? I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the Academy are enriching thanks to you. Try not to overtax yourself, alright? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, I had my doubts when I first met you. At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet, you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. You're strong-willed, encouraging, and you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Oh, you know, I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um, well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Anyway, where was I? Ah, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me, is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. Whatever you need, just say the word. I look forward to helping you out. Your Highness, the hour is late. May I ask where it is you're going? I'm off to the library for a bit of research before I train. After that, a bath and bed. Very well. 
I shall accompany you. Uh, no. There's no need for that. I am a grown man, after all. You sustained an injury during yesterday's training. My presence may be of use to you. It was a mere bruise that will heal in no time. No need to fret over me, do. Are you dissatisfied with me, your highness? Please do not hesitate to correct me. And there it is again. Yes? What is it? Well, you often choose to address me as your highness. When we first met, you used to call me by my name. That was because I was unfamiliar with Fodlin's speech. Thinking back, such rude manners were inexcusable. To be honest, I much preferred it. I feel more comfortable being addressed by my name, rather than with the honorifics that go along with being a prince. But... I did not teach you to read and write so that you know how to address me properly. And I brought you to the Academy as my friend, not a vassal. But your highness, a vassal is precisely what I am. So much has happened since we met, yet we cannot seem to bridge this gap. So be it. I give you leave to return to your quarters. Take an early night and reflect on what I've said. Please. I couldn't possibly. I said I would accompany you, did I not? True. But I would much prefer that we take steps to ease this mindset of yours. Hello, Felix. I see you're here to train as well. Go away. Just looking at your face makes me want to wretch. <laughs> With that mouth of yours, you grow more like your brother every day. Shut up. And stop walking around on your hind legs. You're not fooling me. I cannot fathom why you seem to hate me so. Because I know what you really are. A beast craving blood. A beast craving blood, am I? I assume you're speaking of the events two years ago, last time we met outside the Academy? I am. The way you suppressed that rebellion, it was ruthless slaughter and you loved every second. I remember the way you killed your victims, how you watched them suffer, and your face, that expression, all the world's evil packed into it. That was our first battle. I remember it vividly. Oh, something wrong? Go ahead and deny it, you wild boar. I deny nothing, Felix. Well then. I suppose the Dimitri I once knew died during that slaughter in Dusker, along with my brother. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> Hurry up and get out of my sight. I don't make a habit of talking to beasts. <laughs> tent is torn. Can you please fix this one first, Ash? Absolutely. Sorry. I should probably take care of it myself, but we'd be here until sundown if I... No problem at all. I've had lots of practice with things like this. Happy to help however I can. Oh. Well, thanks. Actually, I'll fetch you something to make the job less of a burden. You like sweet things, right? Ah, uh, well, yes. Sorry, no, I can't ask you to do that. Ash, I told you, there's no need to act like that. Uh, I can't have someone from the royal family running errands for me. It doesn't feel right. I really don't mind, so you needn't worry about that. And while I'm being candid, I'd prefer it if you didn't speak so formally to me. We're supposed to be allies. We fought side by side as equals, haven't we? I know, but to commoners like me, you're royalty. Regular folks normally only lay eyes on someone like you once or twice in their whole lives. I understand, I really do. When I ascend the throne, perhaps I should do a tour of each city. What? No, that's not what I meant. I'm at a loss. I wish to make things better, but I seem to only upset you more and more. That is certainly not my intention. Perhaps I should leave you be and take care of our shopping. Please, I promise I'll go myself just as soon as I've finished with the tent. 
Ash, enough. Okay. I have a question. Answer me this. I don't normally eat sweets. So what would you recommend? Oh, well, if price isn't a concern for you, then you should go for the sugar candies. The ones they make in town are really delightful. Uh, oh, your highness, please, you mustn't. Got it. Sugar candies it is. I'll go and fetch some. Your Highness, please come back. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure these repairs get done. Hold a moment, dog. Are you speaking to me? I don't see anyone else here, do you? You're that boar's lapdog. Do not mock his highness. <laughs> Spoken like a good pet. Why do you follow him with such devotion? Do you really think a man like that is worth it? Fargus destroyed my homeland. Burned it all to the ground. Slaughtered my people. The punishment of Dusker. My father, my mother, my sibling, all were killed. We received no aid, no respite. Fargus murdered our dignity and torched our pride. His Highness is different. He is the only one who sees my people as human. He risked his life to save mine, and it is thanks to him that I no longer wish for death. That's what we call blind obedience. Tell me, would you give your life for him? Yes. And what if he commanded you to join him in a senseless massacre? I would do it. Even a massacre of children, or the elderly, or your own comrades? Without hesitation. You have misunderstood me. I am the sword and shield of his highness. Weapons do not have a will of their own. Blind obedience. You're right. I did misunderstand. I shouldn't have called you a lapdog. You're a rabid cur. You and the Boar Prince make quite a team. Two crazed animals. I warned you not to mock his highness. I am aware you have a history of friendship with him, but one more word. I've said my piece. Scamper back to your master. <laughs> Dear Goddess, please protect us. Mercedes. Oh, to do. Was there something you needed? His Highness sent me to collect you. I see. I'll be with you in just a moment. I'm almost finished here. You were praying. I was. Praying for everyone's safety, and praying for good desserts tonight, and that my next exam goes well. The Fodlan goddess will accept prayers of any sort. <laughs> it's true. I've thought the same thing myself. That reminds me to do. Weren't you born in Dusker? Yes. Do the people of Dusker pray to the goddess too? Dusker had a very different view of religion. Oh? In Dusker, there were many gods. The sky had a god. The earth had a god. We made offerings to the war god for victory in battle. Held feasts for the sea god to calm the waves. So your people prayed to different gods depending on what they needed? Correct. Your beliefs sound so different from ours. Tell me more. Why? Dusker is a ruin. Dusker may be gone. But you're still here. Would you tell me more about it the next time we meet? <sighs> if you insist. Really? That would be great. I'm looking forward to hearing more soon. Dusker is gone, but I'm still here. <laughs> Oh no, oh 
Oh no, oh no! Please tell me that wasn't the pin! What was that noise? To do! Well, as you can see, the pan kind of exploded. Just a little. How did you manage that? I looked away for a moment and the pan just went boom! Ugh, I'm grateful nothing caught fire, but now the kitchen is a mess. Are you hurt? Oh, no. I just got a little spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. Indeed. But do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. Let us fix this quickly. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna help me cook? You object? Of course not. I'm just so sorry to bother you with this. Is that Felix? Hey, hey, Felix. This is a surprise. I didn't think you had much interest in books. I'm already finished with that one. You can borrow it if you'd like. No need. I was just curious who it belonged to. Why not read a few pages at least while you've got it open? I think you'd really like it. The plot is pretty different from a typical knight's tale, but it's still really good. Do you like stories about adventure and chivalry? No, I despise them. Yeah, well, have you tried reading any? You might find them really interesting. I know I do. What do you find so interesting? Well, for one thing, the knights in these stories are always gallant and brave. And they always value things like friendship, loyalty, and justice. That's the kind of knight I want to be. Ridiculous. Friendship, loyalty, justice. Only fools allow their lives to be ruled by such nonsense. Fools who get themselves killed for nothing. Only to be celebrated as heroes in books like this. Writers of these stories are worse than tyrants. They seize control of people's thoughts. That's a little much. I was only interested in... I don't care. Such blind enthusiasm is dangerous. Be more moderate in your passions. You know something, Felix? You are exactly like the knight in this story. Excuse me? On the surface, he's sarcastic and intimidating. But underneath, he's kind and cares for his friends. In the end, they become heroes together and conquer all obstacles. Disgusting. Stop looking at me like that. Oh, see, right there. That's just what I mean. You sound exactly like him. <sighs> I'm going to lend you this book, really, I insist. Just give it a read, all right? Trust me, and you can tell me what you think when you're done. Why is this happening? Felix, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Time for our tactics lecture. You'll be there, won't you? Those things are such a waste of time. Nonsense. You're going to be there. Must I? Why is this such a chore? You went last time. Though you did all you could to disrupt things, as I recall. Brazenly rambling on about clear-cutting a nearby forest to secure a marching route. And attacking an enemy base, stealing their horses. You were incredibly disruptive, and even rude. I was offering my honest opinion. 
Then, you left before we were finished. What do you suppose happened after that? I have no idea. Well, the conversation got quite lively. We all began breaking down the viability of your somewhat maniacal plan. And apparently, similar tactics have been used to turn the tides of historic battles. That may be an exaggeration. Successful armies must be able to handle unexpected situations. That starts with weapon mastery and creative tactics. If you didn't have so much battlefield experience, you wouldn't be capable of such unique strategies. Which is why we need people like you. People who think creatively to lead the army. No, you're just massaging my ego. When have you ever minded? We need you there. Just come on. Are you here to study too? I am. It's quiet here. Easier to concentrate. <sighs> it really is. Hey, would you like to study together? We can help each other out if we get stuck. Oh, yes. We'll get a lot more done working together. Uh, hmm. What's the matter, Ash? This question's got me stumped. A ballista inside a castle is ready to fire at enemies outside. What angle should be used for the shot? Assume the ballista is the same as those in Garrig Mach. Ignore the effects of wind. This is for defensive strategy, isn't it? Why is it so complicated? Don't you just aim and fire? Hmm. It may help to focus on maximizing target accuracy to reduce your miss rate. To start, let's sort out the setup. Let's see. Using these ballista specifications, if the ballista corals follow this trajectory, they'll hit the enemy lines, right? Oh, that makes sense, because the enemy line will be here. That's it. Okay, now try using that same technique and applying it to this other problem. If the walls are this high and the enemy lines are at that distance, oh, I think I see. I knew you'd get it. Wow. I didn't expect math, of all things, to be useful in a siege. This is tough. Numbers are not my strong suit. But this really is the sort of thing you have to know if you want to command troops. That's true, but not everyone is good with numbers. That's why we have tacticians do these calculations for us, or prepare them before we go to battle. A century ago, the Empire's mathematicians played a huge role in the Battle of the Wall of Fodlan. I had no idea. Hey, you really know what you're doing, Annette. You think so? Definitely. You've obviously done a lot of studying. I really admire that. I suppose I have. Studying is a necessity if you want the advantage over your enemies. <laughs> but necessity aside, it's nice to hear you say that. <laughs> Hey, Annette. Hitting the magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print? Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. Please be quiet. Hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said the... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm. And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy. You know, you're actually kind of amazing. I've been studying magic for a while now, but even I have trouble with this stuff. 
You act like all you do is mess around, but are you actually working really hard in secret? Nah, hanging out with girls is way more fun. I guess I just pick this stuff up somewhere. Life is short, Annette. If you waste it working hard, it'll be over before you know it. Get out in the world. Have some fun. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. You're strong and smart without even trying. It's not fair. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. No, I was just thinking you're pretty cute when you're sulking. You know that? <sighs> what is wrong with you? Hey, uh, I just got lucky with that stuff in the book. I'd normally never be able to outsmart you. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and leave you to it. Got lucky, huh? I'm not so sure about that. Well, that does it. It might be tough, but I won't accept second place. Let's go, me. I can do this. I'm gonna finish this whole book before sundown. <laughs> <sighs> that was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny. My granny! Come on. I was eight and she was gor... That was a long time ago. Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. People can hear you. Please be quiet. When you were 10, we went to that harvest festival and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought, relentlessly might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord, despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me, always for you. Every time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? Nightfall? Already? Suppose I'd better wrap up. Good work with your training today, Ingrid. Here's something to wipe up the sweat. Well, Mercedes. Hi. Hello. How long have you been... Um... Thank you. You're very welcome. I've been here since you started. Not long. Huh. Well, my apologies for not having noticed you. I get so caught up in training, you know. But why are you here? I can't imagine it was too terribly interesting watching me. I disagree. I just couldn't help but admire your training technique. I have to say, you are very impressive. I'm nowhere near as graceful as you. Graceful? I wouldn't say that, but thank you. If I'm to be honest, I'm the one who admires you. Goodness, me? How so? You're always so put together. You hold yourself with such poise and have such a keen eye for fashion. I mean, even the handkerchief you handed me smells like... Lavender, is it? It's just lovely. That perfume is a favorite of mine. I'm so glad you like it. Even the fact that you thought to put perfume on your handkerchief is delightfully foreign to me. I'd never have thought of that. I'll gladly share some with you. You're welcome to come visit my room whenever you'd like. We can have tea and chat. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds really nice. Yes. <laughs> Sipping tea and having a chat. It's unlike me, but it sounds lovely. From now on, we'll meet up whenever we have time. We can go right now if you're free. 
Oh, no need to trouble yourself and rearrange things for me. It's no trouble at all. You'll never know if you're the type who enjoys chatting over tea if you never try. <laughs> all right then. Okay, one more. Hello, Ingrid. Can I have just a teeny tiny moment of your time? Sure. I can spare a moment or two. I was wondering, do you have any interest in fashion and makeup and stuff like that? I haven't the time to bother with such frivolities. As long as basic hygiene is being met, then I'm happy. Oh, but you're missing out on something so fun. I mean, it's not like you need it, of course. You've got beautiful bone structure, lovely hair, long legs, but aren't you interested in trying something new? Um, well, thank you. I suppose I do find it all somewhat intriguing. But my time is precious to me, and my focus is on knighthood. Taking time to paint my face simply isn't a top priority. Sure, but imagine if you could combine the two and become the most fabulous knight ever. Okay, maybe I'm taking it too far. I know knights don't necessarily need a ton of makeup or things like that for the job. I'm just saying, I really think you'd enjoy it if you opened your mind to it. All I'm talking about is a light touch. I can see it now. Your gorgeous face done up with a delicate application of makeup. The fabulous knight who everyone looks up to and wants to be. Um, well, maybe? I guess. That does sound mostly harmless. Hooray! Okay, we don't have a moment to lose. Here, take this makeup kit, play around with the colors, and see what speaks to you. Now, wait just a... I actually got that little kit as a gift the other day, and I wasn't sure what to do with it because I already have that one. It's a limited palette, but I think it fits the look you're going for perfectly. I actually never agreed to start putting that stuff on my face, Annette. What? Oh, well then, I guess this whole kit will have to go to waste. I'll just throw it away like the garbage it is. You're throwing it away? I can't just stand by and let something go to waste. <sighs> okay, all right. Thank you. We can do this. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, and I'm happy to help you learn to apply it too. Come on, let's go to my room. I have some brush techniques to show you before you get started. Now, don't get carried away. Ugh. She played me like a fiddle. <laughs> That's a good one. Alright. And that'll be that. Uh, I suppose I can just save here, it's fine. So, next video will be the Chapter 4 mission, Goddess's Rite of Rebirth, whatever it's called. Uh, so yeah, alright. Those are all, the, basically, most of the C supports done now as well. Um, still don't have a B support with Lysithia, but I know it's close. Hopefully I can get it in the Chapter 4 mission. It should be a lot easier there than it was in that auxiliary battle. But, alright. Oh, thank you for watching. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed it.